Today we are going to be making Grandma Dodie's wonderful, wonderful cinnamon rolls. My mother-in-law Dodie makes the best cinnamon rolls hands down. And so the other day while we were watching basketball, we love college basketball, uh, my son Robert was like, hey mom, do you remember when you made us those gigantic cinnamon rolls? And I said like, way back or just like recently he goes no way back from scratch and i thought i can do this and so i called up my mother-in-law and i said hey can i have your sticky bun recipe so she gave it to me i wrote it down in my handy dandy yellow notebook um i have everything out you're going to be using um quick rising yeast and so i have all my ingredients out it does take a while you do have to let it set for like an hour and a half to rise and then when it's in the pans you also have to let it set for an hour and a half so i'm going to be making these bigger I like to double the recipe, so I might have two going at once because I just know that these cinnamon rolls are not going to last because they're amazing. So I have all my ingredients ready to go. Now it's time to start making wonderful cinnamon rolls. And look at this snow. It's a uh, day two and a half, day three of snowing. We always get a St. Patrick's Day storm but it has not stopped, it's continuing. Yeah, crazy. So cinnamon rolls and hot cocoa, just sounds So great. the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get like the, the sugar together. So what we do is we do like a butter sugar mix and then we get the yeast growing with the water, then we're gonna combine them together, then start adding the flour. So just a little trick when you do, like whenever you do honey or molasses, spray your, um, your measuring cup and then it goes out a lot easier. So I have, it's gonna be four cups of milk, a half a cup of honey, um, a pinch of salt, and then one, um, one cup of butter. So you're gonna put it in the microwave until the butter is melted. You don't want it to boil, but you want it until the butter is melted. It doesn't have to be super hot, but just warm. Then you're gonna bring that out of the microwave and gonna let it completely cool before you add it to the yeast and the water. So let's do this first part and then get the yeast going because it does take a while. And so I thought, you know what? Why things are rising, I'll get other jobs done. Like it just kind of makes sense. I'm really into this um, uh, from scratch stuff. Like I'm really into like, I'm gonna be making homemade chalupas soon and I wanna make my homemade English muffins. I found a recipe for, uh, I think I'm gonna start the whole sourdough starter thing. I have been like avoiding it, but I just, I've been seeing so many wonderful things made with it. So I'm gonna get on board with this from scratch stuff. I had made cheeses not too long ago. They were gone by the next day. So I have to make a whole bunch of cheeses now because my family absolutely loved, loved them. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. I do like to sing. Our whole family does jingles. Like when we talk and a song or a commercial comes up, we like do that little one. My brother does it, my sisters do it, my dad used to do it. Um, it's really weird. I don't know why we, we do that, but we do like like doing little tiny jingles and stuff. And so, okay, I'll stop talking so we can start. Okay, so now I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna put the butter on the bottom just because we want the butter to melt right away. And here's my wonderful turmeric tea. Okay, let's get going. So it's one stick of butter and then four cups of milk. I love these Pampered Chef bowls so much. Okay, and it's gonna be a half a cup of honey. Make sure I get this right. I wanna make her proud. I love honey. We have our own honeybees. Oh my goodness, so wonderful. I don't think I've bought honey in the store ever. And eggs. All right, it should come all out. Look at that, super great. A little bit more. And then we're gonna do a pinch of salt. All right. Okay, now off to the microwave. So now we are going to take care of the yeast. And so it is one third cup of warm water to one tablespoon of quick yeast, quick rising yeast. Now listen, you don't want it hot. If it's too hot, you'll kill the yeast. So you wanna add it to the bowl, kind of stir it up and you want the yeast to dissolve and you should see a little bubbly action going on. 
So we're going to do the water. Well, let's do yeast first. I got my butter melting. It's been taking a little bit. All right. So one packet, if you get a packet, it's a tablespoon. My mother-in-law measured that out for me. One, two, three. And then when you open it, make sure that you put it in the refrigerator. And then it's three, three thirds cup of water. All right, there we go. And we're gonna wanna stir that a little bit. And then we're just gonna stir it because we want that yeast to be all dissolved in this water. And I used a big bowl because I'm gonna be adding flour and stuff. So you just kind of want it to sit. See how it's kind of coming mucky here? All right, so we're gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna pull the butter out of the microwave and let that cool and then we're gonna add it together. All right. So this is melted, it's not bubbling. You don't want it to bubble. You don't want it to like cook, cook. We're just trying to warm up the butter. Um, my butter just came out of the fridge. So if you wanna let it set maybe on the counter, then it will um, melt right away. So now as this is going, I'm gonna just let this set. It's probably gonna take about 15 minutes. The bowl is kind of warm. So it doesn't have to be like cold, cold, but it has to be a lot of the heat has to be gone out of it. So we can add it to our yeast. And then we're gonna start adding the flour. So this is gonna take about 20 minutes and then I'll come back, add it, and then we're doing like six to eight cups of flour. So it really depends as I'm like kneading it on the counter. If it's still sticky, probably I'll need to add more flour. And then once it, it, we get the dough done, we're gonna put it in a bowl, cover it. We're gonna let it rise probably an hour and a half. Then we're gonna make our sticky buns, put all our yummy stuff inside and then cut them. I'm gonna get out um, my husband's grandmother's huge, like it's a huge metal serving pan because I want to make these suckers big. Then we're going to stick them in the pan, let them rise for another hour and then cook them. And she said, make sure, she says here, 325 for 25 to 30 minutes. She says, do not overcook these because if you overcook them, the tops will be hard and you don't want hard sticky buns. And then, so I'm going to do probably a cream cheese, like half cream cheese, half butter icing for the top. Um, I'll probably use, uh, I think I'm just gonna do regular vanilla. If you wanna do other flavors, you can. I'm not gonna add nuts to it because my family doesn't like nuts, but they do like those maraschino cherries, but I never buy them unless we're doing like ice cream sundaes. And so I'm just gonna stick with the cinnamon, the sugar. Um, I might maybe add a little bit of molasses to make it like kind of like thick. I'm not sure yet, um, but it does have the honey in here for the sweetness. So I'm gonna do the cinnamon sugar. I usually do my pumpkin pie spice. Um, I really like to do that because it has so many different spices in it instead of just using cinnamon. So I'll do sugar, I'll probably do brown sugar. Um, you wanna melt butter and put that all over it too. I'm super excited, I'm really like embracing this homemade from scratch stuff. I used to do this a long time ago before I let social media suck the life out of me and now I'm getting back to that. I'm getting back to just doing things. I'm, I'm gonna be working on my macarons this week and see, you know, because I had them before I, we transitioned this, I had it perfect in my stove. Well, now I have a different stove. So I'm trying to figure out the temperature, but my kids love my macarons. So I'm gonna be doing I'm that. I really love being in the kitchen again, just making sure I'm taking time to start doing this for my family because I've missed it. I've just let things steal my time and I'm bringing, I'm taking my time back. I'm taking it back. Maybe we won't grow as fast as we did before. Maybe people won't like us anymore. I, I really, I don't really care. I need to be more in the moment I need to be more in real life. I do love doing this. I love sharing this with you. I've met so many wonderful people on here, but I have to make sure that it's it's fun and it doesn't take over my day. And so I just, this the last two years have been very awakening for me. I know I've shared with you many times in many videos, um, but I just need to get back to what I'm supposed to be doing, taking care of my family. And I, I, we got a wedding coming up and I'm gonna have grandbabies, I'm sure in a couple years. And so I really just wanna make sure that, um, that I'm sharing nice, fun things with you guys and these, these homemade recipes, but yet doing it where it's not taking all my time up. I'm just, I'm designating time, but then I'm enjoying things and getting things done. And so many fun things are happening. So many cool things are happening in my house. I have so much going on and yeah. So, okay, so we're gonna let this set. I'm gonna drink my tea, come back, and we're gonna get these things going. 
I'm super excited about this. But I can't eat them yet because I'm still trying to do my detox cleanse. I have lost 12 pounds. 12 pounds, you guys. I'm so excited. And, and I, I didn't hit my goal. My goal was 15, but I still have another week before I go see my son. My goal was to hit 15 pounds before we went for spring break. So um, I'm probably already going to be on spring break when you guys see this because I'm a little behind on videos. <laughs> um, but, uh, but that's just what happens when you're trying to be, you know, trying to change what's happened the last three years with social media just absorbing all my time. Plus, we're really close to getting that the cookbook out for pre-sales and then the cookbook out. And so I've been trying to get that all done too. But yeah, it looks good. It's already starting to bubble. Yeah. Okay, well, um, tea time. The butter's cool. My yeast is all dissolved. So now we're going to add it to the yeast. If it's a little warm, it's okay. All right, there we go. We're just gonna mix it. I don't know, I like to be careful when I do this just because yeast is, I feel like it's kind of fragile, but so just mix it together. All right, can you guys see that? It smells good, I can smell the honey, I can smell the yeast. All right, and so now we're gonna add our six to eight cups of flour. I have to be left-handed here, I think. I feel like when you make bread, you kind of got to be pretty accurate. All right, so there's one. And then we're going to mix that again. I feel like I'm going to have flour everywhere. You don't want to tap the flour. All right, there's two, three, four. It's easier as I get down now. Five, I'm super excited about this. Six. I'm gonna start with seven. I'm gonna do seven. Seven. All right. I can't decide if I'm gonna do seven or eight. Hmm. I'm gonna start with the seven. So now I'm gonna start with my spatula, mixing it up, and then I might have to go to like my hands. All right. If I mix it up and I feel like there's not enough dough, then I might add some more flour. You don't want it super soupy, and it looks like it's a little soupy for me. Oh, well, it's mixing now. All right, so I'm actually gonna do one more. Yeah, I feel like we need one more here. I'm gonna do one more, because it's still pretty soupy. And I got a lot of liquid there. All right. Lots of liquid. Oh, that's way better. Can you see that? I don't know, I might even add some more maybe. Because it's not really forming a ball. Okay. I think I'm gonna add another one, you guys, because this is really not forming a ball. All right, let's do another one. So we're up to nine. You know, you get these recipes from your family, but they just do everything off the top of their head. So they're not thinking what they need for flour. They're just, I think this looks better. Okay, that looks a lot better. Oh yeah. She said, <laughs> I lost my, Spatula, where are you? <laughs> she said that if it still feels like it's it's tacky and sticking to your fingers, to um. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna have to go away from this one. It's it's uh not working very well here. All right, let me grab another spoon. 
What a mess, hey? <laughs> We're gonna do another spoon. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking I might even do 10. Because <sighs> it is still kind of, yeah, I'm gonna do 10. Because she said if it sticks to your fingers, it is not, you need more flour. So we're gonna add one more. And I'm pretty sure this should be good. Okay, I don't wanna get flour on the clothes. Oh yeah, this is way better. The dough feels great. Like I can tell stirring, it feels really good. All right. Perfect. Oh yeah. I need to work on my arms. All right, so we're gonna pull this out on the flour surface and get rolling it or kneading it. We're gonna knead it and then put it back into the bowl. All right. I wanna be able to share it with uh, other platforms, so. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Let's get all that out of there here. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, so kneading it just uh, puts air into the dough. It helps it to rise. It just makes it nice and soft. All right, it's still a little sticky, but I think I'm gonna stick with what I have. The dough looks beautiful. I cleaned my bowl because we got to put the dough in there and let it rise for about an hour and a half. You usually want it to rise double the size. That looks beautiful. I think I'm good. All right. So we're going to spray our bowl because we don't want it to stick. This is avocado oil. All right. We're going to put it in here just like that. There we go. I'm going to put a towel over it. And now it's got to set for an hour and a half. You want it to double the size. All right, the dough has risen. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that, how beautiful. All right. Got my floured hands here. All right, I'm gonna put this on a floured surface and we are gonna roll it out. That is so beautiful. I don't know if I told you guys, but make sure that you um, you oil your bowl. All right. Let's just knead it a little bit here. Just a couple times, just to get that sucker going. All right. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be very big. Let's get this rolling pin going. Let's get to work. Actually, I'm gonna stretch it a little bit first. I think it's gonna make it easier to roll it out. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Like a pizza crust. Let's break it up a little bit. All right. So you wanna do more of a rectangular. I actually wanna roll it my way, so. I'm gonna do it more this way here. Just gonna roll this till it's nice and big, rectangular. It is gonna be really pliable, so it might take you a little bit to roll it, but. Sure, hold on just a second. Sorry about that, Josh. He's trying to get his walkie talkies going. Okay, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Yeah, yeah. Looks like I need to bring the dough a little bit over here, hey? I'm so excited. Look at this, it's ginormous. Like Elf, ginormous. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I wanna bring more of the dough this way. 
This is huge. See, so you can roll it kind of thin because it's going to rise again. When you get it in your pans and get all the stuff on it, it is going to rise again. Sweet. 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 We're going to start by putting butter all through it. We want everywhere to have butter. All right. Butter, 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 butter. I have two sticks here. So. So you want your butter because your sugar and stuff is gonna stick in it. I have brown sugar and white sugar. I mixed it. So it's one cup of white sugar to one and a half cups of brown sugar. And then I got my pumpkin pie spice too. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, I got a little drip here. It's gonna be going on the ground. Let's move that over. All right, perfect. So I got a little bit more left. Not much left, but a little bit. All right, now we're gonna sprinkle the brown sugar and white sugar all over it. I mixed it together. Now, let's just do my hand. Way better, we don't got those clumps then. Gonna have to do lots of sweeping. Yeah, we don't want that to happen there. All right. We want it really, really kind of sugary inside, caramelizing. The um, brown sugar kind of makes it caramelize. And make sure you get the edges. Usually the edges get missed. I'm gonna use all of this. Every square inch because they are gonna rise and they are gonna be big and they are gonna be gooey. Yummy, yummy to my tummy. Except I can't have any for another day, but I know Robert's gonna be running over here after work because he's the one that's like, mom, can you make these? All right. And then I got one and a half um, tablespoons of uh, Pumpkin's pie spice. I don't know if I'm gonna use it all, but cinnamon's kind of strong, but if you mix it with the sugar, I think I will use it all. Don't forget the edges. My hand's all dirty. All right, so now we're gonna roll it. I'm gonna go, well, I guess I'm not gonna have to clean my hand yet. So you're just gonna roll it towards you tight, really tight. I got two big pans and I oiled them. I did my spray avocado oil. All right. Make sure that the edges are good here. I might have rolled a little close to my edge of my counter, but I think I'll be okay. Man, this dough feels so nice, you guys. My mother-in-law is amazing. I mean, I changed up a little bit by adding the pumpkin pie spice, but this is pretty much her. She owns this. She owns this. She gave me the okay to share it though. I remember when I was in high school, um, we used the home ec. I'm gonna move this up. The home ec would make these and you could buy them for like a dollar. I don't know if any of you guys are in school remember that, but ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh my God. I can't take it. 
Okay, pretty. Look at the goo coming out of the end. Sweet. Very nice. So I have two pans out if I need them. And I do want to make them kind of big, so I'm going to make them really thick. We'll see, I might need two pans. I just need at least 10 of them. So if I can get 10 of them, I think I'm gonna get 10 of them. Got five in this one. Sorry about that, my husband's phone. Work is gonna be starting. Well, if we can get the stupid snow to stop going three days later, almost three days later. All right, so I'm gonna have to move these around a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, this worked out great. I'm gonna move these a little bit because I still want them to be big and if you smush them, they won't be super huge. I keep stepping on brown sugar down here. All right, so there's one. Let's bring this back over. That one's kind of small. All right, I need to get another one in here. Darn it. All right, let's do this. All right. Okay, this will be perfect. So there'll be two in here. So here's one, and then here's one. Okay. So now they have to set for another hour till they rise. All right, I'm gonna take the tops off here. Those look beautiful. And I'm going to put a little butter on the top of each one of them. And I'm gonna get them in the oven. I have already preheated my oven to 325. It's gonna be for about 20 minutes and they're gonna get even bigger as they're cooking. And then while that's happening, we are gonna make the cream cheese icing to go on top. How beautiful are these? Oh my goodness. My kiddos are gonna be so excited. All right. Sounds like my kids might actually already be here. So we're gonna put the butter all on it. Okay. Good morning or good afternoon. Okay, so we're gonna put the butter on the symbol. It freezing. is cold. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna get these in the oven and bake them for about 20 minutes. So great. those take about 20, 25 minutes. So while we're doing that, we are actually going to start the cream cheese icing. The first thing we're gonna do is beat it so it's nice and fluffy. Buttercream is um, a half a stick of butter or six six tablespoons of butter, then two cups of um, powdered sugar. So because I did two blocks, which is eight ounces, I'm gonna do four cups of powdered sugar here. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. That's for our prayer um, boards we're gonna make. All right, I'm gonna get this mixed up. You really my Bible study, ladies. Oh. If I have another one. Yeah, uh, you gotta ask Sarah. No. Oh, Sarah asked it? Yeah. Okay, Sarah asked it. You can look through it. Okay, oh. this is good. All right, so we're just gonna mix this till it's nice and mixed together. 
And so I'm not gonna put my icing on right away. I'm actually gonna let them cool for a little bit because I don't want my icing to completely melt. I thought about putting like a little bit of a sugar glaze on top, but I don't want them to get too sweet. All right, let's this up. Okay, now I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of vanilla and mix it again. I might not have to add cream, we'll see. That is super yummy. I don't think I need to do anything to it. And it's still kind of spreadable. What are you making? I'm making cinnamon rolls. They're in the oven. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so now I'm just going to wait for these to get done. I'll show you when they come out. Let them cool, and then we're going to put the wonderful, beautiful cream cheese icing on top. Okay, so they turned out great. I did a couple ahead of time because I wanted to make sure the icing would melt. And so look at these. How beautiful are those? Okay, so, and I did add a little butter to my icing. It just seemed a little off. So I added about a half a stick of softened butter and a little bit of cream just to make it creamier. It just seemed like it was kind of bland. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. So I'll probably just put a little bit on each one and then come back. Noah says he didn't think I'd have enough icing. So I'll ice the tops of them and then I'll come back and add more icing. These are huge. Robert is gonna be so excited. I know I've said that 14 times, but I told him I'd make these and I don't know if he believed me. I'm gonna have to take a picture and send it to him. Say, look at mom made you cinnamon rolls. These are beautiful. Oh yeah, these are beautiful. And they're soft, they're not hard. They are browned a little bit, but I checked the insides and the insides are nice and smooth. Oh, I think I'm gonna be okay. All right. All my kids are home from school. They all walked in, they're like, ooh. So everybody's kind of surprised. All right, got three more. And then I'm going to go back. Look at these, Sarah, hey? They look incredible. I know, right? All right, so one more, and then I can add some icing to the other ones. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yummy. And I'm just using a Pampered Chef spatula. I mean, you can use whatever you want, I guess, but it's nice and white. I love the look of the icing. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm going to be doing more of this. More of this home cooking stuff. Okay, there we go. It does take a while, though. I mean, I, I would just plan it, and then, like, in between everything rising and stuff, I just did other things. And so you don't have to sit and watch it. And also, you you when the dough gets to half the size of it was, like it grows halfway or grows a whole size like it was when it started, then you know you're done, so. But I did the hour and a half, it worked out good. Okay, these are beautiful. Holy gamolies. Holy gamolie. Oh yeah. And I drizzled them with a little butter like you've seen. Yeah, these are beautiful. Oh my goodness, I can't take it. I can't take it. And there's like a little bit of uh, beautiful sugars in the bottom, so it's gonna be nice and gooey when you pull it up. All right, I'm gonna finish doing this. Pretty much done. All right, they're super beautiful. Thank you for joining me. I'm making Grandma Dodie's sticky buns. So yummy, oh my goodness. You guys are gonna love this recipe. But yes, make sure that you have jobs in between because it does take all day. All right, thank you for subscribing to Just Bells 10. I don't know if I already said that. And uh, have a good week.